Karen, good evening. Tonight, businesses across Palm Desert are closed down and boarded up amid fears of riots and looting. Take a look at this gas station. The pumps blocked off with caution tape and the windows boarded up as well. And here at the entrance to El Paseo, you can see the barricades keeping cars out. But those riots and the looting never took place. And all those protesters tonight are safely at home. I hereby declare this to be an unlawful assembly, and in the name of the people of the state of California, command all those assembled at Civic Center Court to immediately disperse. Tense moments during a protest in Palm Desert Monday. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Police threatening to arrest anyone who breaks the 6 p.m. curfew. We can't change unless the country do. Nobody's going to change unless they do. All lives is equal. Black lives matter too. Brown lives matter. We got to come together, man. Hundreds of protesters marching up and down Fred Waring Drive and through parts of the city, remaining peaceful through the evening. I came here in peace. I, I believe in um, the First Amendment, that they should hear my voice. I don't believe in violence or looting. I'm just not okay with small business or local businesses getting burned down because that's a hard earned money. The protest has now more than doubled in size. All of these protesters taking to the street, many of them sitting down or kneeling in the middle of the intersection. They're blocking traffic all the way down Fred Waring here. They're chanting things like I can't breathe and George Floyd's name. They expected us to riot, burn buildings, loot, but as you can see, we're not doing anything really looting or burning anything down. We've just been peaceful all day. Angel Marino worked to organize the protest. We want peace. That's all we want. And amid the pandemic, most protesters wearing masks, though social distancing was difficult to practice in the crowd. The cases keep going up, so, you know, there is this concern. You can't just wash it off. Some saying their message was just more important. It's bigger. It's bigger than that. And an hour and a half after the curfew, the scene growing smoky. Police trying to disperse the crowd. Break up this assembly. If you do not do so, you may be arrested or subject to other police action. And tonight, the streets of Palm Desert are eerily empty. I've only seen Sheriff's Department's vehicles patrolling. This countywide curfew is set to expire tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. We're live tonight in Palm Desert. Jake Ingracia, News Channel 3. All right, Jake, thank you.